Hey everyone, Alex Benning here, Director of Athletic Performance at the PGA Tour Performance Center at TBC Sawgrass. It's getting to be off season time. Um, this video is gonna be all to do with lower body power, things I'm doing with my tour players this off season. Uh, I'm gonna give you a few ideas that you can add into the gym for you. This off season, like I said, it's all to do with lower body. If you're struggling with a lower body routine, you can definitely use this as just a routine. You can do five sets of five reps. Um, today I'm only gonna take you through one set of five reps each just to keep the video short so you actually watch the whole thing and see every move. But it's gonna be a lot of stuff focused on storing energy and that intent at the bottom to explode up. That intent is so important. We wanna get that nervous system going. We wanna get that base strong for you to be able to explode out of. Um, so like I said, the intent here is so important. I want that three, two, one count going down like you've probably seen in my videos in the past. We have a lot of success with that when we're trying to build speed, we're trying to build power, but we're trying to focus on building that strong foundation so that you can actually build speed and power and have it translate to your sport, to the courts, to the tennis courts, pickleball courts, whatever it may be. Um, so that three, two, one count is gonna be important. We're gonna start with this rope. This is a great move to start with just to get that hinge pattern cleaned up, get that energy from the ground up. So three, two, one, one second pause at the bottom, and then we're gonna come up. Three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one. I think one more. I might have already done five. Good. Like I said, you want this rather heavy. That weight is there to kind of counterbalance you, really focus on the hinge pattern, keeping a good spine angle. We're gonna do, if you're doing this as just a strict routine, it's five, five sets of five. If you're doing this as a routine to supplement with already, if you wanna supplement something like this with a deadlift or a trap bar deadlift, I'm all for it. I do it. Um, you know, do it in between, take a break, maybe go a hair lighter than like super heavy, but right there, I'm picking a weight that I can barely row, that I feel like I can explode up. I'm using a cable machine. If I can explode up and row it, I'm not getting that lag in the weight. So I'm picking a, a heavy enough weight so I really feel like I can pull that hard and the weight's not lagging or shooting up and coming back down, right? So pick the weight smartly, run through a couple slowly to get the hang of it, and then jump into that heavier weight. Like I said, five sets of five, that's what I recommend. I absolutely get this. Is, this is one of the least favorite exercises that I have people do, but it's one of the most absolutely important exercises. Works grip strength, spine angle, um, hip hinge, hip stability, hip strength, quad, hamstring, glute. So we're gonna get in that split squat, a little slight forward lean. We're going three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And we're only doing three reps here. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Whoo! So like I said, you're picking a heavy enough weight that when you feel like you get to the bottom, you're like, wow, I really have to explode up. It's not gonna look fast if you're picking the right weight, but that intent, that intent, that intent, that intent is so important at the bottom to feel like you're driving up. That's what's gonna fire that nervous system to get going like, hey, we gotta move, we gotta create power, we gotta create speed. That three, two, one going down is all about storing the energy, that stability, we're, we're really, enticing growth in the lower body when we do that and that speed we're trying to work that explosion we're only doing three reps but we're doing five sets pick your weight wisely always start you know start with a safe weight hit the hang of the move if you're not an experienced liver lifter um i've got 55s here i've just done a workout i've shot another video i'm a little tired but i would typically be anywhere from 55 to 65 here for sure. I want to go slow going down. I want to pick a weight not so heavy enough that I can't go slow going down, but I want to pick a weight that's hard enough when I get down to the bottom, it's hard for me to explode up. This is by no means my max, right? But it's definitely hard when I get to the bottom to really feel that explosion coming up. So 
We're gonna be in a front rack position. I love this front rack position. It builds a ton of strength in the core. Powerful strength in the core too. We're not talking about abs, superficial looking strength that they look strong. This is that deep core stability. This is so important for your low back. Um, this is so important for later in life, that health of the low back, the stability of the low back. Um, so this is a 75 pound weight. We're gonna do a five second hold at the bottom. We're gonna come up, we're gonna do it three times. It's definitely gonna be challenging. Like I said, be careful racking this. Don't drop it on your foot or anything like that. But we're gonna come down. And I'm feeling a ton of tension here in the core, obviously in the quad. This is hard to talk through. <laughs> And I'm going straight to that left side. A ton of core here. 